Ellen from the Ed and Nancy Hannenberg Children's Advocacy Center. I think when we talk about prevention at the center, we're so focused on kids lots of times, but I really wanted to reach out for parents and caregivers today and really talk to you about some safety rules. I have nine great safety rules that I think are going to help you make sure that the kids in your life stay safe. So help your kids or the kids that you care for by identifying five individuals in their life that could be a safe person for them to talk to. Sometimes kids, if bad things are happening to them, don't talk to parents. So talk about other people in your family that kids could go to, maybe a grandma or a grandpa or an aunt or an uncle. Who are people at their school they can talk to? We always talk about how safe teachers are and principals. Maybe there's people in your community, like a neighbor or a babysitter or somebody at your church or a soccer coach. Um, believe kids and let them know it's never their fault if they come to you and talk to you about something bad happening to their bodies. Explain the difference to them about what we call safe and unsafe secrets. Safe secrets are fun and they're exciting but they always stop, they end, like a Christmas gift or a birthday present. Unsafe secrets are the kinds of secrets nobody ever wants kids to tell. And let kids know that if an adult ever wants them to keep a secret from you, that that's not okay, that they can always come to you and talk to you. Teach kids the correct names for their body parts from a very young age. It's okay to let them know that they have a penis or a vagina and let them know that nobody should ever be trying to touch those parts of their bodies. Now, there are safe and unsafe touches to kids' bodies as well. So safe touches are kinds of touches we like to get. They make us happy, they make us smile. They're what I call the thumbs up kind. So maybe a hug from somebody that loves them, a knuckle bump, a fist bump. Unsafe touches are the kinds of touches that happen to the private parts of their bodies. And private parts are underneath bathing suits. And a very easy way to let kids know that private parts are private, and private means that they're just for them. If you ever suspect abuse, you could say to a child, I care about you, you seem really afraid or sad about something. Is there anything you wanna to talk to me about? Or is there anything that's bothering you? Frequently tell and show children in your life that you care about them. So again, just reminding them, hey, I'm always here if you want to talk to me about anything. If you have a reasonable suspicion of child abuse or neglect, it's really important that you report that. If a child comes to you for help, remain calm, listen, and to provide the support that's needed. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any time and maybe um, also take an adult training with us here at the center. Thank you.